The icon of the Blessed Virgin, called Shagura in Aramaic, meaning the famous one, is surrounded by an incredible collection of ex voto offerings that reflect the gratitude of countless beneficiaries who come from many different countries and many different sectors of Christianity. Christian eclecticism can be found in the life of St. Simeon Stylites. Simeon was born in Cilicia in 390 and later moved to Syria. After subjecting himself to intense acts of contrition and mortification, he moved to a mountain near Aleppo. Here, he built a column on which he lived and preached ceaselessly to ever-growing crowds of people who flocked to him in hope of his blessing or to be healed. The name Stylite, from Greek stulos, meaning column, was given to his followers who became known as Stylites. The base of his famous column is still visible today in the monumental remains of the church named after him at Kalatsiman, or the citadel of Saint Simeon. The column was 36 cubits, or 15 meters high, and from its summit, the saint healed, solved disputes, and preached social justice until his dying day. The historian Theodoret, Simeon's contemporary, wrote that pilgrims to the saint's column came from many different countries, Ismailites, Persians, Armenians, Georgians, Himyarites from southern Arabia, as well as Spaniards, Britons, and Gauls. The existence of different faiths was not important to the saint. To him, all that mattered was God. Keep your own faith, he used to say. Just leave me my God. That's why at Kalatsiman, we often find the Syriac cross alongside Greek, Byzantine, Latin, and Maltese crosses. These symbols of different Christian traditions are a concrete indication of Saint Simeon's eclecticism. Dotting the countryside around Kalatsiman are the remains of nearly a thousand villages and towns that prospered between the first and seventh centuries AD and then fell prey to a series of economic crises, wars, invasions, and natural disasters. These are the famous dead cities of Syria's northern limestone hills. Here, even place names conjure up pictures of utter desolation. This valley is called the Valley of the Wind's Door. There is evidence of burgeoning spirituality everywhere, particularly in the remains of imposing churches. Along with financial prosperity, the inhabitants once enjoyed a rich religious life founded on their Christian faith. But now, all that is history. A walk through the ruins and rubble of what were once architectural jewels and centers of Christian spirituality is a sobering experience. Among countless examples of the extreme degradation is the baptismal font of the church of Mushabak, today used as a watering trough for sheep.
The once magnificent Byzantine church of Kalb Lause, that means almond heart, is another example of past splendor. Fortunately, in modern Syria, the idea of persecution or even religious discrimination is absolutely foreign. Perhaps one day, this extraordinary Christian heritage will be safeguarded in the measure that it deserves. It's a priceless treasure for Syria, as well as for the rest of the world. At Al-Ruzafa are the ruins of the Church of St. Sergis. The Bedouin tribes of Syria, many of which were Christian, were particularly devoted to St. Sergis and often visited his sanctuary in Rusafa. Here, too, there is evidence of the ancient Syriac liturgical rite, for example, in the characteristic bima, the dais in old Syriac churches from which the priest read the holy books. The Aramean heritage of the Syrian Orthodox Christians is also written. A large number of ancient manuscripts and holy books written in Syriac is preserved here. Deplorably, the congregation treats with great familiarity priceless books that warrant a greater sense of preservation. Kamishli in Syria is a border town created by the Syrian Orthodox Christians who had fled from nearby Turkey in the face of persecutions that destroyed their villages, burned their fields, and transformed their churches into mosques. Just beyond the national border is Turabdin, which means Mountain of the Servants of God. 4,000 years ago, along with northern Syria and Iraq, this region was the cradle of the ancient Aramean civilization. After the coming of Christ, it became the land of the Syrian Orthodox Christians. Nowadays, that presence has been largely lost in the annals of time. Kafro, Bazibrin. Until the beginning of the 20th century, these were prosperous Christian villages. Now, they're ghost towns surrounded by abandoned fields. Fanatical persecution by the Kurdish people, influenced by short-sighted governments to carry out an insane policy of religious